So doorbell just rang. Um, expecting the package today. So let's go see what it is. Pioneer DJ, DDJ, Rev 7. So, Pioneer did the product announcement on this on January 13th of 2022. that time dealer called on Thursday to let me know it was in. Thursday was the 17th and two days later on the 19th a Saturday it was delivered. Um, dealer is in New Jersey and I got it in two days. So, double boxed, packaged nicely. I've never owned um, a Pioneer controller before. Used to using uh, turntables and also the uh, Rain 12s. So. Boxed up nicely, sealed good. Um, production date of December 2021. So we have an owner's manual, um, stickers. Marking stickers, I guess, for the platters. Power brick, which is a little different than what I'm used to. Um, usually, you know, most things seem to have uh, IEC power cords, so this has a power brick that goes with it. Just want to make sure you. Keep up with that. Um, let's see. So that was a brick. This looks like the other portion of the brick, the power cord itself that hooks into the power brick. USB cable.
Look, this one's failing solid. Solid and heavy. So nice feel to it um apparently comes all assembled so i thought that maybe you'd have to put the platters on um in these top plastic discs but everything seems to be uh assembled already faders on this are pretty smooth um i guess the up and down faders are just standard uh faders and then the cross fader is uh, one of the variants of the Magvel. Um, the only other piece of Pioneer equipment that I've ever owned was the uh, S9 mixer. So this fader feels good. Um, some guys have complained and said that they seem a little tight with uh with resistance maybe that they weren't glued real i mean uh, maybe that they weren't lubed real good from the factory but these ones feel okay um everything seems to be cool and in place so let's go over a couple of things on the front of it it looks like you have Auxiliary input selector for off line or portable input. Um, a level for that auxiliary channel for um, headphones. You have an eighth and a quarter inch jack. Channel two curve reverse um, and adjustments. Um, cross fader curve feel and reverse. Channel one, curve, reverse, and feel. And over here, you have the mic selection, off, on, talk over, mic one, mic two levels, EQs, and then an echo. Definitely pretty light materials as plastic and uh, as I was tapping it it was making a little noise so I didn't know if maybe it was uh, loose or whatever uh, on the back of the unit you have XLR master one master two RCA outs booth balance quarter inch uh, jack outputs uh, USB A and B uh, for two computers channel two um, RCA inputs with a line of phono select uh, ground lug for your turntables if you hook them up auxiliary input mic two balance quarter inch jack uh, attenuation for mic two, volume. Mic one is a combo XLR quarter inch, uh, attenuation adjustment, um, power switch, and uh, connection for your power brick. So what I'll do is take down the uh, range 72 and um, 12 Mark II that I have and get this all set up and fired up and I'll come back and do another review and if you guys have any questions 
just put the questions in the comments and I'll answer them on the next one. Peace.